10 card game. Hi everybody, I'm back with you to teach you a new game called Flip 10. This game uses a deck of cards, but you need to take out the 10s, the jacks, the queens, and the kings. You can play it with two or three people. So you get started, you're going to shuffle up the cards, and you're going to lay cards down in three rows of six, face down. So, as I'm doing this, I want to tell you about the object of the game. So in this game, it's good for my younger learners, and it's good for my older learners as well, because it's trying to have us practice making facts for 10 as quick as possible. So with the remaining cards, you deal out the rest to the people that are playing. And once that is done, the first person will go and they will flip over one of the cards in the rows that are down. So I flipped over a five. So what I'm going to do is in my stack of cards to look to see if I have another five that would make the fact five plus five is 10. I don't, so my turn is done for now because I couldn't make a fact for 10. So my neighbor is going to go. They don't have a five either, so they cannot go. So then it's their turn. They're gonna flip another one. They got a four. So they have a six. Because six plus four is make, makes 10, I'm gonna stack those and my turn is done. Now the other person goes. They're flipping over a card. They got a two. They're looking for an eight. They didn't get one. So back to the other player's turn. They got an eight. Eight plus two is 10. So they could make a 10 for that, but they also get to flip over another card. So they flipped a five. No five is there, so no turn can be taken. Here's the cool thing. It goes back to the next player, but since there were two fives down that don't have a match to them, they can be stacked on top of each other. Then you can take one of your cards in your hand, replace the empty space face up, and then you can also flip a new card to see if you can make a match. So I actually have two nines up, so I would need two aces. I don't have either of those. So the next player will go. They have one ace to make a 10. That's done. And now they can flip their own card, an ace, no nines. So you play until nobody has any cards left, practicing making those tens. Pretty simple, quick and easy way to practice those back families for 10. So that's the game called Flip 10. Hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Have fun trying it out.